Supernatural Stories, Curse of Barang, Part 3, The Finale As I was looking at Aunt Flora's face, I felt very creepy. Just why is that? Her face is burned while her body is perfectly fine. I can't even look at her and tell her what happened to her face. Aunt Linda woke up and cried, seeing Aunt Flora's burned face. We did not let her know about what happened to her face and we didn't give her a mirror too. As the days went by, instead of getting better, Aunt Flora's condition became worse. One time she is shouting, calling for names that only she knew, murmuring to herself like an insane person. I don't know what the doctor said about this as I was young at that time, but in what my two eyes had witnessed, she is not getting better at all, especially her head. The wounds are still there. Her hair was cut short, her face was burned, and there are some swollen in some parts of her body. It's maybe because she has been lying in bed for too long and she had bed sores. Her face changed. She became a stranger to me. One of our neighbors said that when you are under the curse of barang and only your face is burned half of your body is being cooked. Your picture was cooked in a hot pot. Half of your picture was cooked in the burning fire. Imagine that. It's very painful and I know it is. And Flora kept on shouting that it was very, very hot. Is the curse of Barang that very powerful? There is no exact and definite diagnosis of what Aunt Flora's disease is. Aunt Linda called the faith healer to check on Aunt Flora. The faith healer arrived then saying that he did his best. He surrendered. My uncle and Aunt Linda are very sad. They also did their best. From hospitalization to faith healer, only God knows if Aunt Flora will be safe or not. Aunt Flora was very bored at the hospital. She always told my uncle that she was tired and wanted to go home. So they decided to take her home. As she is not getting better, they signed a waiver of agreement from the hospital and went home. And they don't have money anymore to finance the payment in the hospital so aunt flora finally went home she is very happy seeing her daughter and happy to be at their own home but she is very weak and can't walk anymore she is just sitting in the chair watching at the window the worst came to worst as one day aunt flora is shouting for pain from her face down to her feet all are swollen just holy crap my uncle let me see aunt flora's private part from 16 years old till now that i'm 39 i will never forget what i saw the left side of her private part is swollen big much bigger than the jackstone ball as i saw it i felt a mix of emotions i don't know how to react i was so shocked so shocked that i wanted to vomit run and cry or just stay still while my mind was floating every day the swelling on her private part will exchange from left to right how cruel the culprit is i'm praying at the time that they will suffer too much worse than what aunt flora had suffered her stomach became big and this is what they call the course of the sea when the sea is on high tide the stomach will become very big and will be back to normal when it's low tide and during this time Aunt Flora suffered from difficulty of breathing then on September 10 1999 Aunt Flora died at the age of 29 just hoping for the one who put a curse of warang on her that they will serve their own karma in God's time and will before she died all members were there except me as I have an amulet and they said, when you witness your loved ones die in front of you, the power of the amulet will be gone. Sounds funny, but it's not funny at all. That amulet of mine saved my life. It's another story of up next. Do you believe the curse of Barang? Some said Barang will not hurt you if you have a very big faith in our almighty God. 
and Flora's experience is unbelievable. I know that some people don't believe in this supernatural belief, but one of my motto in life is to see is to believe, and I saw it all with my own two eyes. That's up to you guys if you believe it or not. And that's the end of this story, Chorus of Baran. Thank you for listening, guys. If you want to hear more supernatural stories, please hit the subscribe button. Have a nice day, everyone.